multiple stealth snow bombs targeting identical regions within the next 12 hours. The second escalation arrives 7 a.m. Monday, heavy snow bombardment hitting Kentucky mountains. Ground temperatures remaining below freezing, ice formation becoming persistent problem. Weekend brings dry Arctic characteristics, limited moisture availability for snow, but extreme cold creating other hazards, burst pipe potential increasing dramatically. Home heating system straining beyond normal, natural gas demand spiking regionally. Vehicle starting problems anticipated widely, battery performance declining rapidly. Agricultural operations implementing protection protocols. Livestock requiring emergency shelter preparation. Water pipes freezing in unheated structures. Municipal systems requiring constant monitoring. Emergency shelters preparing for overflow. Homeless populations facing life-threatening exposure. Current weather pattern persistence extremely concerning. MJO phase 8 extending through month. Long-range models showing continued cold. January prospects remaining below normal. The third phase is the most dangerous of all. Coastal bomb formation threatening massive escalation. This resembles atmospheric siege warfare. Repeated assaults wearing down defenses. Infrastructure aging rapidly under stress. Road surfaces cracking from freeze cycles. Your immediate preparation begins now. Time remaining before assault, six hours. Stock emergency food supplies immediately. Grocery stores experiencing pre-storm rush. Bread, milk, eggs disappearing rapidly. Non-perishable items becoming priority. Vehicle preparation absolutely critical. Full gas tank mandatory before snow. Ice scraper, snow brush, emergency kit, jumper cables essential for cold weather. Avoid unnecessary travel Monday morning. Work from home arrangements recommended. School pickup plans requiring modification. Dismissal procedures activating early. Home heating system inspection urgent. Furnace filter replacement recommended. Question, how can storms target identical coordinates? The answer involves atmospheric memory. Backup heating sources prepared. Space heaters tested for operation. Water pipe protection implementation. Faucet dripping during freeze potential. Cabinet doors opening for warm air. Pipe insulation checking completed. Power outage preparation essential. Flashlights, batteries, radio charged. Cell phone charging the maximum. Portable chargers fully prepared. Generator safety protocols reviewed. Never operate inside structures. Carbon monoxide detection tested. Emergency ventilation requirements understood. Prescription medications stockpiled. Pharmacy access limited during storms. First aid supplies inventory completed. Emergency medical information organized. Elderly neighbors welfare check planned. Community support networks activated. Deep south moisture moving into established cold air. Eastern Tennessee becoming snow manufacturing zone. Pet protection measures implemented. Animals brought inside permanently. Outdoor water sources protected. Animal shelter preparation completed. Cash withdrawal recommended immediately. ATMs failing during power outages. Electronic payment systems unreliable. Small bills preferred for emergencies. Snow removal equipment preparation. Shovels, ice melt, rock salt. Physical conditioning for snow removal. Back injury prevention, critical. Today brings continued cold nationwide. Northern regions experiencing Arctic conditions. Clipper system delivering lake effect. Superior streamers targeting Michigan. Light accumulations across upper Midwest. Wintry pattern persistence concerning. Pacific Northwest receiving additional systems. Northern Rockies accumulating mountain snow. But here's the twist nobody's talking about. These systems have a northward drift addiction. Western regions remaining above normal. Temperature contrast driving storm energy. Monday's stealth assault becomes template. Identical targeting expected repeatedly. Same cities receiving repeated punishment. Infrastructure wearing down systematically. This atmospheric siege just beginning. 
each storm weakening regional defenses. Recovery time eliminated between events. Continuous assault wearing down resistance. Don't miss the long-range horror at 12 minutes, the December siege timeline. But here's something even more terrifying. Extended pattern showing no mercy. December model suggesting repeated events. Same storm track utilized weekly. Christmas travel facing multiple threats. Holiday preparations requiring modification. Shopping completion recommended immediately. Delivery services facing repeated delays. Friday storm surprised North Carolina by trending north. Monday's assault could repeat identical behavior. Economic impacts cascading regionally. Lost productivity mounting weekly. Energy costs spiking dramatically. Heating demand exceeding capacity. Insurance claims mounting exponentially. Property damage accumulating systematically. Here's what I promised at 12 minutes. December siege timeline revealed. Week 1, Monday stealth assault beginning. Week 2, weekend Arctic outbreak arriving. Week 3, additional storm system tracking. Week 4, Christmas week uncertainty. January, continuing pattern persistence, no relief projected through winter. Population adaptation requiring lifestyle change. Winter survival becoming priority. This represents new weather warfare. Atmospheric patterns unprecedented historically. Climate shift toward extreme persistence. Traditional weather cycles disrupted. Washington, D.C. and Baltimore in potential crosshairs. Systems historically exceed model predictions. Your survival depends on next four hours. Final preparation window closing rapidly. Don't wait for weather service warnings. Local conditions deteriorate quickly. Tomorrow brings exclusive model comparison, European versus American guidance analysis. Plus, detailed weekend Arctic outbreak, temperature maps showing record potential, and exclusive interview with emergency management, regional preparation inadequacy exposed. Don't miss tomorrow's emergency briefing, life-saving intelligence your family needs. The next 18 hours determine survival. Monday, stealth assault incoming. Stay prepared. Stay vigilant. Remember, this atmospheric war just beginning. This is only the opening skirmish of what scientists are calling the Great Winter Siege of 2024. Right now, the snow machinery is positioning. First bombardment begins in eight hours. 2 a.m. Monday morning launches stealth assault. Southern Indiana receiving opening artillery. Cincinnati borders facing immediate snowfall. Northern Kentucky preparing for accumulation. Why are the same areas that got hammered Friday about to get hit again Monday? 7 a.m. Monday escalates into heavy bombardment. North Carolina mountains absorbing massive loads. Tennessee Tri-Cities area under siege conditions. Southwest Virginia receiving repeat punishment. Roanoke, Charlottesville, Lynchburg, all targeted. Danville facing accumulated snow assault. Greensboro experiencing rain to snow conversion, dynamic cooling creating surprise accumulations. But these are just the opening strikes. Late morning brings the deadliest weapon. Charleston receiving unexpected snow bombardment. Areas that escape Friday punishment getting payback. Hickory experiencing heavy wet snow artillery. Charlotte facing potential rain to snow conversion. Fayetteville dealing with mixed precipitation chaos. Rain, snow, sleet creating transportation nightmare. Richmond under snow siege by late morning. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. brings the ultimate escalation. Here's what makes this setup even more dangerous. Coastal low pressure bomb forming off East Coast. How can winter storms follow identical pathways like programmed missiles seeking targets? When precipitation intensifies during bomb formation, snow rates could exceed two inches per hour. Two deadly systems operating simultaneously. Back edge energy creating elevated vorticity. Heavy snow bands wrapping through Appalachian Mountains. West Virginia to eastern Kentucky under threat. Banding features concentrate snow like laser focus. Certain areas receiving triple normal accumulation. Surface low pressure 
amplifying precipitation intensity. What starts as light snow becomes heavy bombardment. Here's what I promised at the three-minute mark. Coastal bomb formation analysis reveals terror. East Coast low pressure developing 1 p.m. Monday. Precipitation rates doubling during formation process. Areas currently receiving light snow face escalation. Heavy snow potential from Virginia to Pennsylvania. Northern tracking scenarios bring snow to Baltimore. Washington, D.C. corridor facing surprise potential. Computer models showing significant uncertainty. High resolution model versus European disagreement. Southern Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, trapped in nature's repetitive assault machine. HR model pushing snow further north than expected. Historical bias suggests continued northward trend. Question. What triggers this coastal bomb formation? The answer involves oceanic temperature contrast. Warm Atlantic waters interacting with Arctic air. Temperature differential creating explosive development. Surface temperatures at 32 degrees creating knife edge. One degree difference determines rain versus snow. Dynamic cooling dropping temperatures during precipitation. Rain converting to heavy wet snow rapidly. Don't miss the shocking accumulation data at six minutes. Totals that will horrify commuters. Monday afternoon brings transportation paralysis. Heavy snow rates overwhelming road treatments. Salt trucks cannot keep pace with accumulation. Pre-treatment becoming useless during heavy rates. Interstate highways transforming into skating rinks. I-77, I-81, I-95 facing closure potential. Richmond to Norfolk corridor, extremely vulnerable. Virginia Beach area monitoring northern extent. But here's what the computer models aren't telling you about this atmospheric targeting system. School districts preparing emergency dismissal. Monday afternoon commute facing disaster scenario. Airports activating de-icing protocols immediately. Charlotte Douglas implementing delay procedures. Raleigh-Durham expecting operational challenges. Norfolk International monitoring snow intensity. But here's the cruel twist in this weather story. Weekend Arctic outbreak amplifies upcoming assault. Next weekend delivers massive Arctic invasion. Current storm becomes warm-up act for main event. MJO Phase 8 locking cold pattern in place. Madden-Julian oscillation favoring continuous winter. Phase 8, 1 and 2 creating perfect winter storm factory. Cold air source remaining active through December. Circle of death region threatening pattern disruption. Temporary uncertainty before pattern strengthening. But long-range guidance shows extended cold siege. Multiple Arctic shots targeting identical regions. Here's what I promised at six minutes. Snow accumulation totals that defy belief. This isn't just another snowstorm. It's a pattern. A systematic siege designed to crush the same cities. North Carolina mountains, six to ten inches possible. Tennessee elevations, four to eight inches expected. West Virginia highlands, 8 to 12 inches projected. Southwest Virginia, 5 to 9 inches accumulated. Richmond area, 2 to 5 inches if trends continue. Norfolk region, 1 to 3 inches, potential surprise. These totals assume current tracking scenarios. Northward trend increases all projections significantly. Baltimore corridor, 1 to 4 inches if shift occurs. Washington, D.C. metro, light accumulation possible. Philadelphia Periphery, monitoring for surprise extension. New York City, currently outside threat zone, but historical precedent shows northward surprises. Friday's storm exceeded expectations significantly. Elevation becomes critical factor for accumulation. Every 500 feet increases snow potential dramatically. Appalachian Mountains acting as snow amplifiers, orographic lifting creating enhanced precipitation. Valley locations experiencing mixed precipitation. Higher elevations receiving pure snow bombardment. Think of it like artillery shells following the same flight path to the same target. Economic devastation beginning Monday morning. Lost productivity exceeding 500 million regional. Manufacturing plants delaying shift changes. Government offices implementing liberal leave. 
Supply chains grinding to temporary halt. Trucking operations suspending regional routes. Christmas shipping facing first major delay. Online deliveries experiencing regional disruption. Retail operations preparing early closures. Shopping centers reducing operating hours. Power companies positioning repair crews. Wet snow creating tree branch loading. Virginia Electric and Power activating protocols. Duke Energy monitoring snow to ice conversion. Heavy wet snow snapping power lines. Weight accumulation exceeding tree tolerance. Emergency services preparing for accident surge. State police activating additional patrols. Virginia Department of Transportation pre-positioning. North Carolina DOT implementing emergency protocols. Don't miss what happens at the three-minute mark. The coastal bomb revelation that changes everything. Salt supplies running low from previous events. Emergency procurement from neighboring states. Municipal budgets strained by repeated storms. December snow removal costs exceeding annual. Tourism industry preparing for cancellations. Mountain resort operations monitoring conditions. Ski areas welcoming natural snow addition, but access roads facing closure potential. Medical facilities implementing storm protocols. Emergency rooms preparing for accident influx. Ambulance services activating four-wheel drive. Hospital staffing adjusting for weather delays. Elderly populations facing increased isolation. Home heating demand spiking during storm. Don't miss the Arctic outbreak preview at 8 minutes, the weekend nightmare approaching. But Monday's assault becomes warm-up exercise. Weekend Arctic outbreak bringing record potential. Current storm strengthening cold air mass. Monday snow creating perfect setup conditions. The first stealth strike hits 2 a.m. Monday. Snow artillery targeting southern Indiana and Ohio. Fresh snow cover amplifying radiational cooling. Ground temperatures plummeting below normal. Weekend Arctic front targeting identical regions. Same areas receiving repeated punishment. Question. Why do storms target identical coordinates? The answer involves atmospheric memory patterns. Jet stream configuration locked into position. Storm tracks following predetermined pathways. Upper level pattern persistence creating repetition. Same meteorological setup recurring weekly. Temperature gradient maintaining storm highway. Cold air source positioned identically. Here's what I promised at eight minutes. Weekend Arctic outbreak preview analysis. Friday through Sunday, Arctic front approaching. Temperatures dropping 20 to 30 degrees. Current 40 degree readings becoming teens. Wind chills approaching zero degrees. Monday snow cover amplifying cold impact. Fresh snow reflecting solar radiation.